Hey everybody, it's James with the Board Game Spotlight, and this week we are looking at a game pretty close to my heart. Look at that name, a game by James Hudson. That's me, this is my game, Barnyard Roundup, for me and my guys over at Druid City Games. And so, in this game, it is a bluffing, truth-telling, outwitting game. If you've seen Princess Bride, where they do uh, the poison in the cup, you have played Barnyard Roundup. But let me tell you, one of the things that we wanted to do was make a game that had bluffing, but had some strategy to why you would bluff what you bluff. So let me introduce you to the game. At the end of the game, you're trying to score the most points. And one of the main ways you're going to do that is putting the animals into your pen to score at the end of the game. The other way you're going to do that with some in-game bonuses. If you can get one of each animal, you'll get a 10, uh, 10 points per set that you can do. So you can get multiples of those. And then you'll also get animal bonuses based off each of the animals, whoever has the most. And as you can tell, the animals have their values. And so during the game, a pin may look something like this, where you've got down four or some sheep and some cows, and maybe you got stuck with the unlucky crow over here, and then the chicken, of course. And so what this does is you're going to have six cards in your hand to form a hand, and you can take anything that matches and pass it and make an offer. So I could say uh, to, if you were this player over here, you could say, hey, my friend, I see over here that you are missing a cow. So I've got one cow for you. Now on their end, they say, I believe you. I believe that is a cow or I don't believe you. So like in this case, they'd say, why would you give me what I need? Definitely not a cow. Flip it over, boom, it was a cow. Now this person puts this into their pen to score. They draw back up, play continues. Now another thing might happen is, all right, I've got, you didn't believe me last time, I've got three cows for you this time. Three, one, two, three. All right, I, I think you're trying to get 15 more points worth of cows into your pen. I believe you, they're cows. Ah! Not only are they not cows, but they are crows. Crows are the only animal in the deck that you have to bluff. You cannot make a claim that this is a crow. So over here, same thing, you can pass around, you can make any claim of anything that matches. So, every time someone accumulates three crows, the farmer takes pity on them, and they're allowed to draw a token from the middle. Now the three token actions that we have during the game are an excuse me, the robber, and the scarecrow. And there's only one scarecrow out of the whole deck of tokens. So the excuse me, what it does, is if someone will never pass this person that cow they need, they can hold this excuse me for their when it's not their turn, and let's say Tommy passes Glenda, uh, says, hey, these are three cows. You can go, ah, excuse me. I do believe those are three cows. And you can redirect a bluff to yourself. Then with the robber, the robber has a little go fish, fish mechanism. I can say, all right, Tommy, give me all of your goats. And if Tommy has goats in his hand, whoop, here you go. You get my two goats. And you take them down and you score them immediately. If you don't have any goats in your hand, and, but you do have crows, you give them your crows instead. Because robbing people, that's risky. That's risky business. Now, on the off chance that you get lucky enough when you get your three crows to draw blindly that scarecrow token, then the last three crows that you've accumulated fly and land into other people's pens. So at the end of the game, you will see uh, who has the most points by uh, handing out any set bonuses, counting up who has the most, say like in this case, who has the most chickens. Two versus one, this person will get the chicken bonus. If anybody ever ties and has the same amount of an animal, no one has the majority so they don't get the bonus. You add up your points and you see who wins. One of the little thing, this is the stretch goal to our Kickstarter, the Rainbow Kitty Cat uh, Copycat. It, you can anchor it to another card and it extends your bluff. So in this case, if this was my hand, I could attach the kitty to the two goats and say, that's three goats or that's three chickens, whatever your claim is going to be. This game is what, it's just fun. It, it's just good, silly fun. People sitting around, cracking up. We did demos this weekend at the Rocket City Game Fest. Probably had 50, 40, 50 demos of pe with people. And anybody who had a kid, their kid was giggling and laughing uncontrollably. But so were the parents. Uh, we played tons of demos with just adults. And they would think, oh, let me see if this is any good for my family and my kids or my nephews or my nieces. And then the whole time they were having a lot of fun and they all bought copies because they were like, I gotta have this, this is just fun. 
If there's something fun just about straight up bluffing and sending a bluff to somebody and saying, do you believe me or not? And seeing the strategies and the different meta meta game mind games people play to go, uh, oh, this is a crow. Oh, I can't do that, can I? I'm sorry, I mean, that's a chicken. You get all kind of crazy combinations. So uh, one of the things we're gonna do this week, if you'd like to pick up a copy of Barnyard Roundup, if you weren't one of the Kickstarter backers, we're going to do a 20% off code. That'll help cover some of the shipping costs to you. And uh, we'd love for you to pick this little game up. Uh, so check the link. Uh, 20%, spell out percent. And that would be your coupon code. So guys, this is James with the Board Game Spotlight. This is my game. Ah, so cool. And uh, we got more coming for you later. But this time for now, it's Barnyard Roundup and Druid City Games. Thanks, guys.